Hey guys, still here and welcome back to another Tropico scenario for Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. This one again sent in by Grim. Has a fairly extensive backstory, so uh, lay back in your chair, grab a drink, <laughs> and here we go. Greetings Admiral Stealth. El Presidente wants to apologize for sending you on such a hopeless raid. He's referring to the previous mission here. He didn't know that his cousin had a battleship and is sorely disappointed that he didn't and promises to get revenge. Despite the losses, he was ecstatic when he found out you had sunk all of the equipment that would have led to his cousin winning the Friendship Games. He was even more pleased that with your radio direction finder, he found one last transport which was full to the brim of athletes, sorry, athletes, which were taken forcibly to work for El Gobernador to be his, um, how do the Americans say, his ringers. They were all professional Olympians taken from around the world. However, because of you, these poor souls were delivered to the safety of Tropico and were so happy that they wanted to stay forever in Tropico and to compete for Tropico. With them, and of course the expert coaching of El Presidente himself, we won. We left with 18 gold medals. It was so impressive that El Presidente sold all the medals to make a marble statue of his favorite childhood llama. On a related note, I have been told to congratulate you on being such an amazing advertisement for Tropico Fuel. We are now the third largest exporter of ship fuel in the Caribbean. Because of this, El Presidente has given extra money to refit the El Presidente, as well as a gift as part of the refit. I was told to mention that El Presidente has just revealed his newest oxygen generator plant. As such, he says that he wants to show off that El Tropico can bottle oxygen as well as any superpower. El Presidente has ordered all torpedoes to be updated to only use the finest Tropican air that Tropico has to offer. Oh, um, and just in case you have forgotten, I have included the original specifications for El Presidente so you can make a better plan on how you should like to refit it. Though I have heard rumors that someone messed up during the refit, so you may not exactly get what you thought you were getting. As promised, El Presidente stated once the El Presidente is finished being refit, you will take the first Tropican fleet to hunt and sink the Gobernador, that's their battleship, along with the rest of El Gobernador's fleet. The main objective is, of course, the sinking of the Gobernador and, if possible, the rest of the fleet. He has assigned the last of the Tropican pirates to the first fleet, to assist as well as the Tropico class heavy cruisers. Please make sure that the El Presidente stays afloat as well as the two Tropico-class cruisers. All other ships are expendable. Uh, that's pretty bad news for my light cruisers and my destroyers. Now, that was quite the intro. Um, this one comes with quite a few requirements. So first, let's set the ship up as required. All right, I have rebuilt El Presidente. I only need to christen the ship El Presidente. There. Now, the president has awarded me with a couple of um, gifts. I have either the option to roll a dice and pick uh, the gift that way, or ma manually pick the gift. I have elected to go with a random number generator, and I got one. Gift one means I get one single 18-inch gun, two triple 21-inch torpedo tubes, an extra 10 million to make the final expenditure of the ship 69 million, I can change the guns up to 16 inches, I can get Auxiliary 1, and I can get Shaft 1, and I'm allowed to add up to 7,000 tons of displacement, bringing it up to 40,000 tons. So, one single 18-inch gun. How am I going to balance this thing out? Because the original El Presidente had triple 13-inch guns, but uh, an 18-incher? How am I going to make that work? And it's a single one as well. It's weird. This thing is... <laughs> this one turret is as heavy as two triple thirteens together. That's how bad this is. Um... Now I have a bit of extra funding available to make the ship bigger and better. At what point can I get a bigger there? I need a bigger hull if I want to fit bigger turrets on here. Oh, now you're getting in the way. Alright, let's see if I can do this again. Now, the previous iteration of this scenario, and this is important to mention, was done under a different version of the game. 
and therefore some of the things have changed leading to um, the different tower here it was supposed to be compact tower but the compact towers are no longer available it was uh, it was supposed to be compact secondary tower 2 but it's not available so I elected to go with light secondary tower 2 which also allows me to put a 6 inch gun over there let's also throw off that gun um, we're allowed to go up to 16 inch these are mark 3's these are mark 4's let's go for 15's because the mark 4 just has a lot of bonuses for example the range is better 29.2 30.8 so let's see if we can put a triple on there. I probably need a tall superimposed barbette to make that fit. But that rests very snugly on top of the rangefinder. Excellent. And then another one... Here-ish. There. Um, now, I can change some of these things. I also need to keep within the 10, no, the 69 million budget. And I need to have two triple 21 inch torpedo launchers. So let's set those up, 21 inch. And they have to be oxygen because of the new oxygen generator plant. Um, let's see, I do want to improve my loading system. We're at 66 million. Let's get some acoustics on here. Just to make sure that I have a bit more survivability. Oh, crap. Speaking of. Oh, keeping this thing small enough to survive is going to be difficult. Now, we're at 70 million. Uh, Semi-auto loads were still too expensive right now. Super heavy shells. What if I sacrifice a few torpedoes? Oh, that barely made a dent in the budget. Lovely. Toss the sonar off the ship. There we go. Who needs sonar? Just look over the water and see if something comes at you. Easy. If I can make this thing just slightly smaller, I might save some budget. Oh, hold on. There. Now, we're not quite done yet. Because this is a tropical scenario, which means that something has gone wrong. And here it is. Something happened during development. This must be rolled after finishing your design. Roll a die. What you roll is what happened during development. Note that if the event causes you to spend more money, you're allowed to go over budget. All right, let's roll a die and see what happens. I have rolled a six. Uh, six is lucky day. You get to pick what bad thing happened to you. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, um, option one, naturally aspirated. The blower motor to feed the boilers were not installed. They got lost in the warehouses. You're forced to go to sea without them. Set boilers to natural. Well, since I have diesel, that actually doesn't impact me that much. Option two, am you what now? The quartermaster of the Navy ordered the wrong caliber of shells. You only have what was left from the war games. Take reduced shells and torpedoes. Yeah, that doesn't sound too appealing. Theoretical engineer. The designer responsible for designing the bulkheads turns out to have a theoretical degree in engineering and not an actual degree in theoretical engineering. Move your reinforced bulkheads down one level. Mm -hmm. Option four. Wrong plans. The plans got mixed up during the refit. It seems one of the towers must mixed up with a proposed design. Change the main or the secondary tower, whichever causes the least amount of changes to the layout of the ship. Right. Or five, command school dropouts. It seems that the commanders paid for their commission and never finished command school. Oh dear. You must set all ships to <laughs> AI except for the El Presidente. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. I have faith in my warship. Um, that WhatsApp ping was mine, by the way. I forgot to turn that off. My apologies. So, I guess this is it. Um, the ship is still under budget. I should be fine. I might want to do a little bit of adjusting here. There. And I cannot really change that much about the rest of the layout of the ship here. Is there anything I can do without pushing it immediately heavily over budget? Nope. Sonar. Nope, Hydro 1's even too expensive. 
Uh, different propellant. There, two powder. A little bit less reload time, a little bit less gun range, but more shell pen. Because that's exactly what an 18 inch gun needs. More pen. Oh well. Let's put the El Presidente through the paces and uh, see if the other commanders of the ships are going to be useful. So, with the rest of my commanders getting their degree from uh, having paid for their commission, I'm going to be only in control of the battlecruiser. The battleship has to be sunk. The heavy cruisers have to be sunk. We have quite a bit of work to do. Um, especially keeping my heavy cruisers alive, as it is a mission objective, is going to be tricky, because I cannot control whatever the hell they're doing. All right, El Presidente. Uh, I'm going to turn you guys over to the AI. Let's see what sort of monstrosity the AI has thrown together. We have 12 16-inch guns. Mm -hmm. A couple of secondaries in the form of an 8-inch and a few 6s. Normally, I'd say that's great news for my destroyers, but I cannot control those. So, I'm not sure if it is great news for my destroyers. The torpedoes will run very, very long. Let's see, what's the range of that battleship? 19 clicks. Which way is it heading? Kind of my way, but still in a turn. And this is the ship that we have targeted with the El Presidente. We already have a 3.4% chance to hit with the 18-inch gun. That's pretty good. Considering it's our first salvo. Hello, AI commanders. <laughs> Hello. I'm, I'm going to try and not ram you. But try not to get in my way too much. What are these DDs like? Maxi bulkheads, loads of torps, with, and that's nice, with oxygen. So they can run for quite a while, for 22 kilometers. Heavy cruisers. Oh no. The heavy cruisers have to be kept alive. Oh sorry, and the El Presidente and at least one tropical class heavy cruiser must survive. It's not as bad. The Artiglieri has run out of torpedoes. Very good. So you've sent your one and only salvo their way. Great. So far we have only taken damage, and that was the one hit to a destroyer. The uh, Garibaldino. Which has also launched the triple. Where is their quadruple launcher then? All the way on the stern. That's why they can't fire it. Okay. Sink the battleship, primary objective. Secondary objectives in order of importance, from most to least. Sink enemy heavy cruisers. Sink the rest of the enemy fleet. Tropican forces may disengage at any point, ow, after the battleship has been sunk. El Presidente and at least one Tropico class heavy cruiser must survive. Now the El Presidente just took a big hit. So this is the point where you say, get down, Mr. President. Um, she's flooding. Fortunately, the La Cluster turret armor that I have took it and didn't actually blow up any of my turrets yet. Let's hope that my luck persists. Hold on, am I targeting a heavy cruiser? No, 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 no. That's not the deal. We're targeting the battleship here. The battleship needs to go. There's a destroyer taking some damage there. It was the Presidente, right? Yeah, it was the Presidente that hit with a 15-inch shell. Doing some decent damage against their ship, but unfortunately not causing it to flood. Not yet, anyway. How are we for ID? 55. Okay. Now let's snap a picture of El Presidente while she's still afloat and has all her turrets. For a battle cruiser, that's... Um, that's something that you never can be quite sure of. Just when those battle cruisers are going to pop. Because they sometimes do. See if I can catch it as it fires. 
As she fires, I should say. Or, well, this is El Presidente. Should it be as he fires? That was the one shell. Yeah, that was the 18 incher. Not a bad shot. Thank you. Let's get back to the battle. I'm moving at best speed to try and keep my distance from the enemy fleet. And still punish them with the guns that I have. I'm not sure if the 15s can go through the target. I'm thinking the 18 incher definitely can. But the rest of them I... Oh... Hold on a moment. I'm going to have to turn the El Presidente the other way. In a hurry. Because there are torpedoes in the water. Here. Right, so the one time that I don't actually have my ships under my control, they all go on the offensive? What? Look at this. The Articlieri actively launching torpedoes. So is the Antonio Mosto. The Espero is only five kilometers, or sorry, six kilometers away from the enemy fleet. Having launched all of her torps, all she can do now is, well, hope that a four inch gun is going to be useful. I doubt it. We get the battleship identified. This is the Anliang. Minimum bulkheads. Promising. Chance to pen is quite good, but I suspect that that only goes for my 18-inch gun. I don't think that that is quite true for the 15s. How much armor do you have? 6.3 deck. Okay. So at a range of 17.5 kilometers, I can do deck pen of 11.5 inches. But... That's 6.3 deck, plus 100%, so no, I cannot pen that deck armor. Lovely. Are we for torps? We're still here. Rudder shift on this ship is not great. Uh, slam on the brakes. You have diesels, so we should be able to fix them pretty soon. Oh, come on. I was hoping to just stop between these torps, but it doesn't look like that's going to work. Art starboard. Come on, get down, Mr. President. And meanwhile, the Anliang is cutting the Nibio in two. Yep, we dodged. Kind of. The Nibio didn't. How are they guys, how are their ships doing with all the oxygen launch torpedoes? I mean, this is only the finest of Tropico air that I'm launching at them. So I'm expecting results. I am, however, concerned that those results are going to be lacking. I've also found that using a battle cruiser against a battleship lately, either I'm doing something wrong or the battleships just refuse to go down to any effort that I make. Well, you guys have prioritized sinking the heavy cruisers. That's what my DDs are trying to target with their torpedoes, which they don't have. Heavy cruisers? You're at the distance of the... Uh, why? Where are these even going? <laughs> <laughs> Not only have these commanding officers gotten their degree or their, their commission by paying somebody, they're also just flat-out cowards and they're leaving the battle. Because that 8-inch gun doesn't reach very far. It reaches to there, and they're keeping neatly out of range. Ah, beautiful. Oh, I penned. All the better. There goes the Marsala. Not good, not good. Come on, Anliang. Please take some flooding. Because, uh... I think it's basically me. 
and the rest are, well, placeholder ships. <laughs> I'm not relying on any of these. Garibaldino runs out of torpedoes. Stop torping the heavy cruiser! The battleship is right there. Come on, buddy. 446 turning circle. Sonar 2. This thing. 833 turning circle. They could have killed this. Sonar 3. Yes, they would see the torpedoes coming, but... With an 833 meter turning circle, I don't think that they would have done much. It takes a while to get out of the way. This also explains why I'm struggling to do damage against that battleship, and why I'm probably not going to sink it. It's about, well, a little less than three times the displacement of the El Presidente. And that's what I'm trying to take on. Yeah, right. I just don't see it happening. Unless I get lucky and I flood them. Because that's really what I'm banking on. I don't have the shells to compete with this thing in a one-on-one -on -one extended fight. And that is not the first time. Accuracy is decent. I'm not sure we're still building an accuracy ladder. That makes no sense. We should be locked onto that ship. At this point, the Fujian should be seeing torpedoes coming their way. They haven't passed already. Damage done. 570. Damage taken. About 12 times that. 13 times even. This is such a disaster. Complete Tropico style though. Even if I ram the Anliang, I probably couldn't kill it. Because that amount of displacement is just very difficult. Very difficult to kill. 76% chance to pen me. There goes the Vipsiana Agrippa. Sorry, the Vipsania. Sounds more Russian than Italian. Come on, Anliang. Take some flooding at least. Any? Please? No? I have a turning circle of 742 meters, and that's before you're starting to add up the rudder damage. I'd be lucky if I turn around in a kilometer. Fortunately, what's keeping me in this fight is the inability of the Enliang to hit me. Ceasefire. Oh, good hit. What was that? An 18-inch shell. Mid-deck penetration. Well done. That took him down to 80%. Hold on, they're taking fire from something else. Is that the heavy cruisers? Yes. The Maria Theresa, sorry, Maria Theresa is trying to do some damage. There's a tactic I'm going to try, which is just to try and keep it a range of about 17 to 18 kilometers. Let the Enliang dish it out. Hopefully, blading the El Presidente as much as possible. And yes, I'll take the occasional hit like this. But if I can wait them out and let the heavy cruiser do some damage, I might be able to get closer and get better pan chance. So let's keep heading away. What's this DD down here? The DD is... Are you going to try and ram? Because you don't have torpedoes. I'm not interfering with this ship, it's still an AI. And this thing seems to be lacking the secondaries. There goes the Antonio Mosso. Ah, the 16 inch switch to the DD. Hold on, I think they're actually going to ram. But more coincidental than anything else. Unless the the damage avoidance kicks in on this ship. Oh, sorry, the collision avoidance. Yep, there it goes. Collision avoidance kicks in. Espero turning hard to starboard. Turn back in. 
Be a man. You are? The hell am I watching? No, don't stop. You could have had it. Ah. Wasted opportunity. Because now you're getting peppered. At short range by 8 inch, a couple of 6 inch secondaries, and potentially the full attention of the 16 inch battery. I sped I was down. <sighs> damage done, 1.1. Damage taken, 13,000. Oh no. What are my cowardly heavy cruisers doing? Not much. They're trying to shell it out with the Fujian. Their chance to pen the Fujian is 6%. <laughs> the chance to pen me is 27. This is fine. This is fine. In full tropical fashion, this is going to go completely sideways. Uh-oh. Range, 16 kilometers out. They still have 400 shells. <laughs> it's going to take a while, isn't it? So, quite a while later, the El Presidente has taken a few more hits, but is afloat. And Liang has managed to expend her entire complement of 8-inch shells, and is down to a limited amount of 16s. She's still trying to hit the battle cruiser, the El Presidente. By some miracle, both heavy cruisers are alive, and largely untouched. I don't understand why, I don't understand how, but they're largely unscathed throughout the whole battle. They have been trying to deal damage against the Fujian and, well, whatever follows the Fujian. <laughs> Pretty much the rest of the fleet of El Gobernador, but um, so far, rather unsuccessfully. 337 damage after 10 hits, and well, 2 hits for 149 damage total. They have, however, and that could be interesting, launched torpedoes against the battleship. Yes, they actually hit the battleship. They might get a second one. <laughs> That's more by accident than by design. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm not controlling the beast uh, heavies. No way. Twelve percent buoyancy, ten, eight, seven, six, four. No way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> full tropical fashion here. <laughs> the Anliang managed to go down. <laughs> Sorry, uh, due to two torpedoes that weren't even launched by me. At least, well, they were launched by my ships, but not by me. So. Believe it or not, but in essence, I have completed the mission. I have managed to sink the battleship. That's the primary objective complete. Um, secondary objectives in order of importance. Um, sink heavy cruisers, sink the rest of the fleet. I might be able to sink their other two heavy cruisers now. <laughs> this shouldn't even be possible. Um... <laughs> All because I was just running away and kiting, and it worked. The battleship ignored the heavy cruisers, managed to get itself too far away from the rest of the fleet, and because of its inability to spot torpedoes, um, and me just patiently waiting out the game, they actually accidentally managed to sink the battleship. <laughs> oh, sorry, the end laying. How did I get the idea? It's 100,000 tons. It's 50,000 tons. I'm sorry. Why did I ever think it was 100,000 tons? That makes no sense. I'm sorry. It's a 50,000 ton warship. It's not that bad. Well, 50,000 tons is still pretty sizable. Alright. Let's see if we can hit the heavy cruisers. My secondary armament is limited. But existent. There we go. We seem to have a decent solution on them. And if we can hit those with 15-inch and 18-inch shells, we can make very quick work of this cruiser. I thought this whole scenario was toast not too long ago. Like, the whole mission, foobar. 
But no. We're back in the game. RNG has blessed us somehow. There is one thing I need to be careful with, and that's these heavy cruisers and their ability to launch torpedoes. I think they have expended them all. Yeah, they have. They only carried enough for one salvo. So the torpedoes were launched apparently against the DD. Uh, maybe hitting, maybe not hitting. But in the end, it doesn't really matter. Because uh, they're not going to be armed slash sent towards El Presidente. Unlike the Lijiang, which still has torpedoes. But they're limited in range. Why am I still building a name ladder? There we go. That's more like it. That was two 15 inch shells. We have a 19 and a 19 accuracy. These things were pretty, yeah, pretty survivable. Many bulkheads. So they definitely have some chance to survive a few shells. But not a whole lot. Let's throw out some high explosive. I am officially in range of the light cruiser. Send out some torps. Why not? We have a few on us. Gotta be distributing that Tropican air. And hey, if it comes delivered in a torpedo, why not? Fujian is hurting. But seemingly surviving the hits. Oh, not, the, not that well. That was a 15 inch high explosive hit. We've pushed the cruiser back. I want the secondaries to try and hit the... Oh, oh. The Li Zhang, which... Has just elected to send torpedoes my way. And with the damaged rudder, I don't think I can do anything that looks like a dodge. I can slam on the brakes, though. See if that does anything. I doubt it. Oh, dear. How big are those torps? Please don't tell me 23 or 24 inch, because that's going to hurt. 21s. I'm going to eat two of them. I would have eaten these regardless. Oh, structural integrity just took a huge blow. We're down to 11%. I think this is an excellent time to start retreating. Also, because I don't have a ship left. I'll probably not complete the secondary objectives. I don't mind that. I just need to try and get El Presidente out of here. Now, what's the range in these heavies? 20 kilometers, but they've already ceased firing. You guys have a range of 16.5, but you've also ceased firing. Okay. I suppose my torpedoes are not likely to hit. These guys have a turning circle of 419. And sonar 3. Yeah. What's my torpedo blister? None. That's why those torpedoes did so much damage. Datian has detected torpedoes. Ah, here are my torps. There, there. And here are cruiser torps. <laughs> Accidental spot. Right. I think the El Presidente is going to have to require another refit. Because at this rate, we won't really have a ship that's worthy of El Presidente. Oh, they just did it again. They torped me. Fortunately, at low speed, I might have a better chance at dodging that. But if this kills me, GG. What's your survivability? Few bulkheads. One high explosive hit and you're toast. Oh. Or a torpedo hit. <coughs> Fine. Um, yeah, I might survive that. Yeah. I'll be fine. It looks like their heavy cruiser, the Fujian, is retreating. I'm not sure about the Hexi. The Hexi is still shooting me, so I haven't officially disengaged yet. 
my chance to get a ricochet? Pretty high. Okay, let's switch back to high explosive. It's just that my chance to hit this thing at range and with the hexi at speed is pretty bad. Around 3%. Hmm. That's not quite going to do it. My heavy cruisers are more or less staying around the battle cruiser. Initially, I was pretty hating on these heavy cruisers, but they have both been able to push out 2400 damage, which is. <laughs> it's actually more than my battle cruiser did. Oh, this is so. so backwards. I shouldn't have a battle cruiser not do a lot of damage. And instead take a lot of damage. And heavy cruisers not take a single scratch of damage. That goes almost for both of them. This thing took 5% of structural. That's nothing. I think this is definitely worthy of a Tropico scenario. Now, at what range can you launch your torpedoes? 9.9. .9. You're almost there. That's uh, problematic. Switch fire to the Dation. Who knows, we might accidentally hit him. They are, however, not coming directly at me. Ooh, yes please. Extensive fire, Dation is down. Thank you very much. One shot, dead. I have 192 shells for the 15s and 29 shells for that singular 18-inch gun. I only need to get lucky once. Once. That's all I'm asking for. Oh, yes, please. There we go again. An 18-inch shell from the single barrel. Got him. Next up. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I'm going to call this the Tong. Come on. You've been doing great so far. Sort of. <laughs> and she does it again. <laughs> no way. In the meanwhile, the Hexi has gotten a bit closer, which is probably more troubling for the Hexi than for me. Because your chance to pen me isn't that great, but my chance to pen you, well, is substantially better. I hope that a high explosive can at least slow this thing down by causing some damage to her engines. Let's go for our piercing. They seem to be pretty perpendicular, pretty parallel. Yeah. Oh, well, they're slightly angled. I don't think that an 18 inch is going to particularly care about that, though. My 5 inch secondary armament is also going to try and assist. Torpedo away. There we go, fire and flooding. That'll slow her down, make her easier to hit. Fujan still at about 18 clicks. We've got the other DD out of torps. And we have another light cruiser. Whoa, you took a lot of flooding from that. Are you sure you have many bulkheads? Because that could have fooled me. That could... Oh, yes, please. 18-inch. Bow belt extended. Full pen. Unfortunately, it was a lot of damage, but not a lot of flooding. So it just took care of a lot of structural integrity. Yeah. Don't really want to do that, I think. Hexi has detected the torpedoes and is trying to dodge. One, two, three. Yeah, they dodged, all right. I have very few shells left now. At this point, every shell has to count. El Presidente is flooding. Why? Mid belt penetration. Really? How? 37% chance to pen. Oh. Well, that is how. Come on. 
El Presidente, if you want to survive, you have to earn your keep right about now. Just give me one good 18-inch hit. Right in the citadel. That's more like it. Two 15s. Causing flooding, putting the ship on fire. Buency is dropping quick. 15%. Nope, they got it. It's going back up. Six shells remain on the 18-inch gun. El Presidente really has given it all she had. Incoming torpedo. Origin. Heavy cruiser. I saw that they still had that one torpedo tube left. And that's the one that they used. Come on, three shells. Get him! Sixteen percent and sixteen percent. Can we do it with the last eighteen inch shell, please? Last shell out. Nope, missed. But those didn't. Unfortunately, that was a hit on a compartment that was already flooded. So it did not do much. That's better, though. Although, no. It's once again in the bow. This thing is tanking damage like a champ. And not really caring too much. Switch to high explosive. We'll just have to burn these guys down. Credit to the Hexi, though. She is taking it on the chin. And these are 15-inch shells. Three damaged engines. She's not going to be able to salvage any kind of buoyancy now. And she's dead in the water. Nine shells remain. If she's dead in the water, we're going to torp it. No, she's turning. She has some form of maneuverability. Or rather, she can turn on a dime. Come on, I have one salvo left. Where is it? Oh, here come the heavy cruisers again. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm not launching. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> the Maria Theresia strikes again. <laughs> she once again, probably with one of her last torpedoes, struck the heavy cruiser with a torpedo, which once again struck in a compartment that was already flooded, so it didn't do anything, even though it said it did 552 damage. <sighs> Alright, I'm calling it here. Um, main objective complete. The enemy battleship has been destroyed. And, for what it's worth, the El Presidente has survived. I think that despite the threat that these ships can still pose, I would win it. At least that's going to be my story when I get back to port. Um, this thing has been a roller coaster. I've been at a point where I thought, this is completely done. And I've been at a point where I thought, ah, oh, you know what? I might actually have a chance. And then all the way back when the El Presidente took two hits. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you guys got a good laugh out of it. Grim, thank you for sending in the scenario and more scenarios to come soon. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you soon.